What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to turn this old dresser into this new entertainment center. All right, so we got this old dresser at a garage sale. Obviously, did a little bit of work to it so far, but the plan is to turn this into an entertainment center. Now, we're not going to do a whole lot to it. We'll make some little changes to kind of modernize it a little bit, gonna paint it, take out some of the drawers, and it's something you can really do with a lot of different things. Pretty easily and quickly transform them into something different. So let's get started. So for this left side, we're gonna take the two drawers, I'm gonna remove the face of the drawers um, from the rest of the drawer, we're not gonna use those anymore. I'm gonna attach them together, I'm gonna put a hinge on them so they're like a door instead of the drawers. So it'll look like the other side that are actually drawers, um, but this is where we're gonna put the subwoofer and uh, also gonna be cutting out the floor so that it can and rest on the, um, the actual ground in the house as opposed to uh, vibrating around um, when it's being used. All right, so for this step, we're gonna take the center doors and we're gonna replace the hard backing uh, with some cloth. This way we can still use the receiver and the electronics in there with the controller. And also if we decide to put the center speaker in there, we can uh, put it in there and still be able to get uh, some decent sound out of it. So we took out the hard center pieces and we're gonna use them as a frame and we're gonna we'll wrap that in the cloth and screw that back in to the doors and shouldn't look like it did before. Also, what we're going to do is put these dividers in here so when you have this top as a shelf, you can't see inside the entertainment center to the side. And uh, we'll go ahead and paint that as well. My wife's been painting away. Uh, she gets to pick the color. That's not my department at all. And uh, so far, it's looking really good. Um, going with a, a two-tone. I think there's going to be a, a darker third color on the inside, but basically the gray and, and blue um, kind of match the rest of the theme in the house. So now that we're not using the top drawer, 
these two bottom drawers look a little funny because they don't actually close all the way back. A little block in the back I'll remove, but also the thickness of the face of the drawers are a little thick. So what I'm going to have to do is the bottom one I, I have to cut off the drawer. The middle one I can cut out the support bar. So I got some hinges for for this door that we made. There are four cabinets, but we're going to go ahead and see if they'll work for this. It should. Uh, my only concern is that these doors are a little bit thicker than a normal cabinet door, so they may stick out too much, but we'll figure that out when we get there. So here it is, done and in place. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, over here we got the drawers uh, work pretty good. Uh, hold DVDs, Blu-rays nowadays, I guess. And I uh, got the center doors work well. Got the receiver, everything in there, and then the subwoofer. Uh, didn't fully measure that all the way, so I had to turn it, but it ended up fitting just fine, and it being sideways isn't really a big deal. Um, so everything's good. Uh, this is a fairly quick project, pretty simple, and definitely beats the old entertainment center that we had, and is much cheaper than buying a brand new one.